On Tuesday, March 7, some residents of Ashaiman were subjected to torture by some members of the Ghana Armed Forces in an invasion that also saw the arrest of many. This was reported to be in retaliation to the alleged killing of a young soldier, Trooper Imoro Sharif, by unknown persons. Imoro Sharif was found dead with stab wounds at Ashaiman Taifa on Saturday. Subsequently, the Ghana Armed Forces confirmed the invasion of the community was sanctioned by the institution, but refuted allegations that the action was a reprisal attack following the death of Imoro Sharif. The people of Ashaiman say they want an investigation conducted into the incident. Imanona is assembly member for the Neiman electoral area and a convener for the Ashaiman Lives Matter. The president need to bring those who came to brutalize the people to book. He must put them to order. He need to but let the, the, the military command understand that what they did is uncalled for. Then also, some of our people are still uh, with the police, uh, with the uh, military. They are in the custody of the military. We are seeking for immediate release of our people to join their families. We also seeking that the the president will compensate the people and then make sure that properties that are destroyed will also be attended to. So these are a few of the the things we we listed. Because Ashama isn't the Ashama we used to know. Ashama is very safe and calm. Uh, Ashama, as we know, have a low a whole lot of people who live within and also uh, come to do business here. Of course, we are, we condemn the the killers of the of the young military because it's our pride. It's the pride of Ashama. We are happy we have a military officer uh, who will be protecting Ashama. But the fact that uh, the sudden happening, okay, that, is, that doesn't mean they should also come to do what they came to do. MP for Ashaiman constituency Ernest Henry Nogwe at a press conference on Thursday called on the residents to refrain from taking the law into their own hands and trust the leadership of the community to get justice for the victims. Thank you. Chobwe! Hey. Chobwe! Hey. Thank you. Uh, first of all, let me commend the organizers. Let me say, commend all of us for gathering us to brief the press on matters arising. I guess I have a few remarks to make. Uh, yesterday I met the victims of the situation and then we encourage them. We gave them hope. All that I want to say now is that nobody should take the law into his or her own hand. Your leaders as an MP, we are going to fight for justice. And as we are fighting for justice, we don't expect anybody, anybody to act contrary to what we are fighting for. When you see any military man in this community, do not think he has come here because of you. Don't attack anybody. Just remain calm while we, the leaders, fight for you. I hope I'm clear. I'm rushing to Parliament now to make a statement on this matter once again. And again, the Defense and Interior Committee will be meeting, emergency meeting, this morning on this matter.